Arma Creighton 8S. This has the Castle Mamba Monster X 8S system in it with an 800 kD motor. I've been running a 40 tooth pinion gear. I've managed to fit a 45 tooth pinion gear on it. So it's in there. I'm going to show you guys and then we're going to take it for a drive. Take a look. When I first put in the big motor into the Creighton, I did the 35 tooth, you know, pretty good, a little slow. So I did a 40 tooth, quite a bit better. Runs really, really good. However, I now have a 45 tooth gear right here. Yeah, quite a bit larger. So this is what I'm gonna run with the stock uh, 46 or 47 tooth uh, spur gear. So yeah, pretty big. Now, just for comparison, you know, in, in the mod one world, you know, typical, you run like an 18 tooth. Well, that's an 18 tooth pinion gear. That's a big one. Here it is in the truck. Seems to feel okay. Now, one thing is, this is all the way out. This is using the PPS mount. So, um, all the way out. The motor is up against over here. Got a little piece of grass stuck in there. Now, I wasn't able to get that bolt in place. You see how it's got that pushed out. So, if I like this speed, I guess I'll try something else. Maybe a uh, smaller spur, and then I can use a smaller pinion, get that motor in a little bit, because there's a lot of room there, and uh, get that in. However, for now, let's get this thing outside. So here it is. We're going to get us a speed run first. I'm putting this underneath the body because, well, you know, it uh, kind of rained again. This is Florida. So we'll go ahead and lock that down and put the thing out in the field. All right, let's. Uh... It could sound really bad. I don't even know if it's messed together right. Got some clouds still in the air. Probably hear some thunder in the background if you can hear it over the gears. And the, uh, you know, normal for me, high grass. One thing about this truck, it's very stable. Ooh, kicking up some water right there. And some more water. You know, the thing is moving pretty good, I've got to assume. But uh, it just looks so slow. <laughs> it just looks slow, so. Let's see what we've got here. Eh, about 50. So, more than likely, had a lot of tire slippage, I've got to assume. I'm pretty sure it's done faster than this. So regardless of the speed only being about, say, 50 miles per hour, like 49.8, that's close enough to 50, right? It is definitely true. Here's some thunder in the background. <laughs> and all that clay over there is going to be horrible. I don't know if I'm going to even hit it or not. It is. Yeah, I don't even have much traction to even get a wheel. Well, I can gyro over and flip.
Looks like the rain didn't really get into this very much, so let's try something. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely soft. It's got a little bit on it. Probably from all the water that I just blasted through. Oh, shoot. Oh, over there and more wet, nasty. What have I got here? Not too bad. Oh, I actually went across it. Boom. Now, I was actually going to try to backflip off of that, but the back end got a kick, so the throttle I was using the backflip just kind of simply kept it straight. Kind of got a drive in the air. Yeah. I also got a drive on the ground where you can see. Hey, I see it. Definitely going to spend some quality time with the air hose. a hard chassis slap <laughs> I meant to kind of go to the left and instead it just kind of went that way I have no idea what's going to be happening whoa I basically crashed in the air and did a front flip landing right down the back side of this wish I could have got it off okay let's set a goal my goal is to hit that bush. Whoa! I missed the bush. Dang, I missed it again. Got a little bit of it. <laughs> no. Wow. All right. I oh, got a little bit. <laughs> Finally got it, sort of. Still lives. I missed it. Missed it. Boom. So close. And all kinds of stuff. Oh, I finally got it from a different angle. Let's go ahead and get a temperature here 150, 151. Ooh, it was up about 160. Like the ESC, now that fan is from uh, Power Hobby. Yeah, that, that ESC. Well, guys, so what do you think? I don't like the 45 tooth in here. I like the 40 tooth a little bit better. And the 42 seems to allow the motor to get on up into RPMs, seems to take off better, more power, more control, and longer run time along with lower temperatures. Uh, motor was at about what, 151 I believe it was. I don't think I've ever seen that temperature with the 40 tooth. Battery run time, I only use 5,000 milliamp batteries these guys right here and they do me really really good believe it or not um, but anyway you know I don't think the 45 was it now the field conditions when I did the 52 with the 42 pinion gear the field was dry was probably cut a little lower on the grass and uh, you know that makes a difference it really does but nah 
I don't think I like the 45. I'm going back to the 40, and that's probably where I'm just simply going to be happy. Unless I go with small tires. Then you have a less rollout. Then you need more gear. I'm probably not going to do that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check the description. Castle, PPS, um, the uh, Penny Gear, Saga Customs, Duratrax Lockups, the uh, Creighton 8S itself, GT5 Radio. I've got all that stuff linked in the description for you guys. So check that out. And if you have something you want to pick up off of eBay, Amazon, A-Main, Red Cat, Midland Radio, so you can communicate with your buddies down the field. You know, if, you get, if you're doing a drag race or something, boom, that's perfect. No horns or anything. Beep, beep, boom, done. Yeah, like that. Anyway, check that description for links. Use those links to check out whatever's in your car. And guys, hopefully you liked the video, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos, and you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.